Well, if you've got either one of these, and this is the current state they're in, I think anybody might be in a state of depression, right? Well, we're looking forward to this upcoming season. Follow along with us. The intent of this channel is if you're handy and you don't have unlimited funds, or our intention is to show you how to take something that could be very inexpensive because it needs some work, or something that is actually on the verge of being scrapped or discarded and using that opportunity to get you out there and enjoy it. Hey folks, SV Whisper here. Hey, I just wanted to uh, kind of reinforce the theory behind having a trailer sailor. Um, we're just coming off a late winter snowstorm here. We got about three inches, kind of unexpectedly they predicted just a gusting. A dusting the wind has been gusting 30 to 50 sustained 15 to 20 but you know this thing is in my own yard we got it parked out in the wide open there's no issue for trees to break off and fall down on the, the thing um, it's covered well the snow sheds itself off well um, so again just trying to show some of the benefits of owning a trailer sailor. The fact that you can transport it yourself, store it yourself, protect it through the winter. You can see that I've got some, uh, basically some saran wrap, the industrial strand wrap that they use for shipping and things. Covering up some of the essentials, um, both on the mast head and out at the other end near where the roller furler and everything is. Um, it's just really convenient if I needed to move the boat in a hurry um, obviously I can just back up to it and and move it away um, it's only a couple of weeks away from actually moving this over closer to where we work on it and get all our prep work done we'll be doing the bottom paint we're gonna revarnish this season uh, all of this stuff is done here in our own yard I don't have to travel to the marina or the boat yard um, or anything to that aspect we can certainly uh, run power to it um, I can wash it with the hose reach as well so um, again the fact that you can move this on your own store it all winter saves a substantial amount of money just for the winter storage alone you're talking almost what you'd pay for a, a almost new trailer or a really good used trailer so one season investing in a good trailer to be able to do this just in the storage aspects alone uh, almost gets you a full return on your investment for the trailer so um, I can't wait to get the cover off of this thing really looking forward to getting some of the projects done and then um, putting this thing in the water so uh, we got a few hundred mile uh, trip anticipated for this summer and uh, we'll talk more about that at another time but for now I just wanted to kind of really drive home the fact that when you can store these things when you can transport them you can launch them yourself you can step the mast yourself you're talking in the neighborhood of six thousand dollars annually that you're saving um, and if you step over the line to a full keel boat even one foot longer or two foot longer say a 26 footer or a 27 footer those are the kind of costs that you're going to incur as a result to limiting yourself from the transportation and the launch characteristics you know you're going to be forced to have the boat hauled by a professional marina and um, you know you're usually not allowed to step the mast on your own you're forced to pay the yard labor rates to do those sign kinds of things you might be able to do some work on your boat in the marina or on the on the hard at the different yards it all depends on what their insurance policies and the state and local um, ordinances allow um, a lot of times if you're talking about bottom paint it's considered a hazardous waste or hazardous material at the very least so um, the restrictions in allowing the boat owner to apply those can even be affected 
um, and you may be forced to pay the marina uh, certified people to perform those services for you so uh, trailer sailor in terms of 25 O'Day makes a 26 foot trailer sailor which is probably the largest trailer sailor on the market um, once you step over that line you cross the threshold either in the fin keel or even the beam width if you exceed that 8 foot 6 inch beam now you're actually required even if you can trailer it yourself you're required to get a permit to haul it down the road so we'll talk about all that stuff in detail for now I just wanted to drive home the aspects of winter storage this is a perfect example of the why it makes sense to start out here eventually even ourselves when we upgrade we are totally aware that when we upgrade to a larger boat our annual costs are going to increase by about 4500 bucks hey folks here we are SV Whisper again this is the springtime uncovering of the boat it's been absolutely terrible weather here the whole marine industry is uh, many weeks behind because it has been cold and rainy um, so the normal maintenance, bottom painting, varnishing, and all of this stuff hasn't been able to take place, and myself included, with all kinds of other issues that come up in the springtime. So um, what I'm going to do today is just kind of, we've moved the boat from the field over to behind the house. Again, an advantage of having a trailer sailor is you can move it where you need to perform the maintenance rather than bringing all your tools and equipment to wherever the boat is especially if it's on stands so uh, we've got power we've got water we've got air you know compressed air if we need to here so um, one of the things that I was able to do is uh, in preparation we are replacing the last of the standing rigging so I was able to remove the forward lower shrouds and the two upper shrouds and take them to the rigging supplier and drop them off and they made me new ones already so that's one thing that we can technically say is completed in terms of ready the new stuff is here and ready to install so uh, once I get in the boat I just want to show you if you're looking at boats for sale this is probably the condition you're gonna find a boat for sale in especially if it's in the winter storage time or in the springtime if the boat is for sale and not going in the water again and that's why it's for sale so um, the interior of the boat is kind of a disaster because some projects were started in the fall of last year obviously they go untouched through the winter and then you pick it back up in the spring and also all boats no matter how well you try to store them they always get some mold on the interior you know, as embarrassing as that may be to show you on our own boat, it's what you're going to see. And what I want to show you that for is because I don't want you to be discouraged by seeing it all. In the matter of a couple hours, you can have the boat looking really good again. This boat, we strip everything out in the winter time and store it all inside. So there's no cushions, no draperies, no anything. So it doesn't have that looked in lived-in look it has the look of being neglected and empty uh, for a reason because you don't want all your good stuff that could perish because if a, a rodent gets in or insects or anything else even if your cover gets compromised and water makes it into the boat you don't want your cushions and curtains and draperies and everything else to get um, affected by that so um, the boat's not going to look good at all um, but when you look in a boat that's been stored and technically stored properly um, it's going to look neglected and empty and um, that's okay because in the matter of getting the boat set up to sail again it'll look like a million bucks when you're done so here we go Hey folks, I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of the frame that I made to support the tarp out of that uh, party shelter or uh, carport, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, I just 
cut the tubing to length and they're all slip fit joints you can see I taped all the joints that's all that's really necessary to keep it from pulling apart once the tarp goes on uh, it kind of pulls itself all together and um, I've never had a problem with any of the joints slipping or anything like that so um, as a matter of fact when you use these things um, you don't put anything on the joints because the tarp and the way that it ties it together is all what holds all of the joints together. But, um, all right, so there it is. I'm going to take it off the boat, and then I don't have to go under it or over it when I'm going fore and aft uh, service in the boat. So uh, just keep that in mind. It's kind of the thing that I really want to focus on in terms of the advantages and disadvantages of owning a trailer sailor uh, through this channel. So thanks for watching and we will, as soon as we take the cover off, we start getting into our preparation for our sailing season, we'll bring you all up to speed and keep you posted on all the things that we're going to do associated with that.